Hello, Cancer. This is Julie with Into Heart Space, looking at the energy of October 2017. Before you watch this, go watch the collective video. And this is a collective full energy. This is the energy of everyone, the one card that everyone will feel in some regard. Whether it's personally that you are going through that energy, or whether you are near someone who is going through it, it will affect you. So go check that out. It's a great foundation to um, all the readings of October. And also Spotify, I have a playlist called Into Heart Space that you can go listen to. It has some really great tunes on it. All right, so let's call in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading, calling in the divine. What messages do you have for Cancer? Cancer, Cancer, for October 2017. What are the messages? What guidance do we have for October of 2017? For Cancer, Sun, Rising, and Moon signs. Okay, and the energy that's coming in from September into October is the Two of Swords. So it's kind of feeling like at a, at a crossroads. Uh, you know, you're not sure which way you want to go because you don't have all the facts. You don't have all the information. So with the Two of Swords, it's feeling like you can't make a decision yet because you haven't been told everything you need to uh, regarding regarding what is going on. Oh, and I'm doing a different spread this month. Tell me if you like it. And if you don't, let me know too. Then we have the Initiate, Ace of Cups, the Moon, Ten of Swords, Page of Cups, Ace of Discs, Two of Discs, Knight of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Ace of Wands reversed. So let me just move everything up just a hair so you can see them all. Okay. All right. It's, you know, this Ten of Swords is popping up for everybody, either that or the devil. It's just been the energy of October. Maybe it's because, you know, it's, uh, you know, Halloween time. It's Day of the Dead coming up. So it, it is a time of death and death and decay of letting go so that we can start rebuilding and you know kind of nurture and um, take it a little bit slower take it a little bit slower and take uh, account for everything that has happened so it, it's not too surprising but however it's always interesting that most of the signs are going through very similar energies and I mean you're right there with them however you have some really interesting cards of I mean we have three of the aces okay so three aces ace of cups ace of discs and the ace of wands in reverse and so having these here having this is like new beginnings creativity having the willpower to go go forward and this is emotional and uh, in the physical realm so two aspects of your life are going to really shift and and you're going to start to really find your footing and grounding when it comes to uh, possibly a new relationship and then also a new job or a new way of life and it's really connected to the to the collective okay so the initiate is the hierophant so it can be your church it can be your community it can be you know if you're a teacher your classroom um, situations where there's many people who you know congregate together under under the same circumstance and, and so this is it's really linked so you might actually meet somebody at this at this special gathering at this lovely little space however know that you don't know everything <laughs> and i'm not saying that like you don't know anything i'm saying that you don't know everything about the situation because the moon is here and so the moon is kind of fogging your judgment fogging somebody else's judgment about the situation so i do feel like you are going to be meeting somebody but you just need to wait a minute sit back enjoy the feelings that they bring up in you but not necessarily move forward drastically 
because we also have the Ten of Swords, and there's two two situations that are coming up with this. So one of them is, um, you know, this this situation that is happening, and it could be with actually another uh, another water sign. So Pisces, um, yeah, Pisces, Capricorn, or who am I missing? Scorpio. I always I always do that. Because I feel like Scorpio should really be a fire sign. I have always felt that. But Scorpio is a water. Okay. But the Page of Cups, you could be connecting with the Page of Cups. And, uh, you know, they, they are promising you love and will always be there for you. And let's get married now. Or, or like, let's start this partnership. Let's build, build, build. But you don't, there's there's something hidden. There's something hidden behind it. And, and, and so it's kind of like... You have to watch and see how it unfolds with the Ten of Swords there. I'm a little leery of it. It's also on the other end, it could also be that you need to let something go before you let this person in. That there's a situation that you are holding on to, a person, uh, a relationship in regards to work. But something needs to be done with it. Be done. Done, 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 you know, and so that you can move on and enjoy this, this union, this union that could really be blissful on this earthly realm. And in doing that, it's like also you're going to have to really work on your balance here. We have the two of, of pentacles, and it's um, especially since I, I we have these two cards here, the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles, finding emotional and uh, physical balance with it. And this knight of swords is interesting in that it's coming towards you, but I feel like these are at odds. The Knight of, of Swords and the Page of Cups. The Knight of Swords is an air sign. So that's Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. And they're kind of coming in, like in a way, to throw you off helter, skel helter skelter. Yeah, you know, and they're linked to this two of, uh, two, ten of swords. So it could actually be the person that you're supposed to be letting go. Or the situation that you're supposed to be letting go. And it's very, they feel like it's so black and white, cut and dry. This is what you need to do. Why aren't you with me? Why aren't you staying at this job? Why aren't you staying at, um, in this house? You know, the, those kinds of situations. Like they, they feel like they know what's best for you. But you're still mulling it over and trying to figure it out. And so that could kind of throw you out of balance. Out of sync with your own emotions. Because they're getting clouded by somebody else. By somebody else's judgment of the situation. Yeah. And then with the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands in reverse, there's a celebration going on. So, you know, you will be celebrating something during October. And, and it could, it's not a birthday, obviously, but it's maybe somebody else's birthday or, um, you know, even Halloween or fall, you know, but there's something that is, is going to be celebrated that will also link to this, this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning on the earthly realm. All right. But because of it, it's also going to kind of hilt and stilt the Ace of Wands energy. So this is like um, a hunch. Ah, that's what happens. Okay, I get this. Because of everything that's happening, you're not listening as much as you usually do to your intuition and to your hunches. Okay, because you emotionally and physically you, you are going through a, a, a great change with community in mind. And a lot of emotion is coming up. So you are second guessing yourself. And so this Ace of Wands is wanting to come in. But since you're second guessing and not following your intuition, it's going to take longer. All right. It's not going to happen as quickly as you like. And you might not even know about it. That's the thing. Is this Ace of Wands in reverse, I think, is kind of like just waiting in the curtains, but you don't know it's there yet. And this is a new beginning with your heart, like with your vibrance, with creativity, with um, entertainment, you know, with beauty. Uh, and so they're just kind of waiting for you to simmer down and recognize and turn your head and feel the pulse of them nearby. All right. And when I say them, I'm talking about the situation. It could be a person. Absolutely. But uh, I feel like it's more of an, an invitation to uh, a situation in your life. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, I feel really, yeah, that, that looks good. That looks really good. Um, I'm going to pull from the Tarot of Moon Garden. It's a new deck for me. And I just pulled the Major Arcana cards to kind of bring it all together. The 
the hermit. All right, so this is uh, this is the advice really for you is that because you are going to have some people who are trying to tell you what to do and tell you what they think is best for you, especially this Knight of Swords energy, um, and even this Page of Cups who I think is coming in lovingly, but they uh, don't know. They don't know you as well. Um, and the best person to make the decisions for yourself is yourself. So the hermit is saying you shine the light on you, let go of some situations that are foggy, that don't make sense, uh, be patient, know that emotions shift and change, and by being patient, you will be rewarded basically with um, a new beginning on the earthly realm or a new relationship that really does want to come in. But the hermit is just pay attention to the voice within. You know, and, you know, because you, you are coming into the month feeling foggy and not sure and, uh, you know, that you don't have all your ducks in a row. And so just take it a little bit slower in October, okay, Cancer? Take it a little bit slower. Understand that the, the community, your collective, your group is supporting you and you could actually meet some loving, wonderful people in that to help you on the way. Okay. If you would like a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, or go to my website. Until next time, much love, joy, and blessings.